visual proof tonight of the desperation far too many families are feeling in the search for infant formula. Lines of cars winding through Dearborn streets for a chance at a can of formula and some parents waiting hours, but the true wait much longer. Yeah, the Abbott Nutrition Plant in Sturgis shut down in February, worsening the shortage. It's now scheduled to resume operations June 4th. But now officials warn supplies won't be back to normal for at least another two months. 7 Action News reporter Kira Hay is in Deer Dearborn where a formula distribution event brought in hundreds of parents. I spoke with a mom off camera today who burst into tears talking about the stress and the panic she feels trying to find formula to feed her four month old and she was just one of hundreds of people desperate to get their hands on a can of free formula today in Dearborn. Thank you so much. Today, close to 400 cars wait bumper to bumper, desperate to get food to feed their baby. I have no baby formula for my baby for the last two weeks. Jamal Alahaji was first in line at the city of Dearborn's formula giveaway, coming hours before the 11 a.m. starting time and prepared to camp out. I brought my jacket and I brought my blanket, so I said maybe if it's cold, I'll stay asleep and they'll tell me. Wafa Bazi is waiting in line for her sister, who has a two-month-old son. Right now, the family is completely out of formula, forced to come up with an alternative. Just give them a little bit of the regular milk from the gallon, add to it a little bit of water, and try to see like if he accepts it. But the infant with stomach sensitivities didn't take to it. At least we tried something. There were hundreds of people with similar scenarios in line today. Ali Abzid is the city of Dearborn's public health director, and he says the desperate calls for help are constant. Just yesterday, I got about 20 calls from others. I mean, that was just yesterday. Abzid, along with Mayor Abdul Hamoud, says they were able to scrape together 500 cans of formula for the giveaway today calling on partners and nonprofits across state lines and internationally. We're doing all that we can. We're not going to leave any stone unturned. So write down the kind of formula you need. The event kind of scheduled to last three hours was over in less than 60 minutes. Around 150 families were able to leave with cans to last them at least a week, but hundreds more were turned away. Right now we're running low um, and we want to be able to alert you if we do this again. Volunteers switching from cans of Similac to slips of paper saying they were out. I'm just like overwhelmed at this point because now I have to go around and search the stores after this. We realize that this is not going to solve the problem. We realize that after today, people will still suffer from shortages. Um, but this is an attempt to do what we can today. Uh, and then we'll get back to the drawing board afterwards to try to help even more. City officials tell me that they will regroup and they are trying to put together another giveaway in the future. So if you would like to be alerted when that's going to happen, you can head to our website at WXYZ.com and we'll send you the links to their social media accounts. In Dearborn, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.